sharing together to fulfill a common goal. We see, here's what the disciples had in common. They had all seen Jesus. Pastor and Francine, I specifically remember hearing in one of your messages recently, you stating what would be the greatest gift that we could give you. And he stated that he wanted a church full of committed, dedicated saints that's totally sold out to the Lord, that we are to be those, those totally sold out saints that you pray for daily, I know, because I, I, I can feel it in my life. Hi, my name is Domingo Drakes, and this is my wife, Nigel Drakes. I have five boys, Joseph Drakes, my youngest. This is Caleb Drakes. Uh, this is his twin brother, Josiah Drakes, and this is Noah Drakes. And we're missing one, the oldest, which is Joshua Drakes, who lives in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I had been a member previously of then Abundant Life Church on McAfee Road uh, when I was in college, I had actually joined the church back in 1991, 1992. I used to watch Pastor Walker um, on television as well as on radio. I remember having to catch um, two trains and two buses to actually get to the church. But the word um, coming out of Pastor Walker and that ministry was so strong back in the, uh, the early 90s that I, I just felt compelled. Uh, to attend, to attend, and, and do whatever I needed to do to to um, to get to the church. I then graduated from college, moved to Houston, met my lovely wife, uh, got engaged. We moved back to Atlanta. Uh, we decided to join uh, what is now Cross Culture Church. What, one of the things that that really has really touched me uh, and impressed me about Cross Culture, you see first, second, and third generation. And you see the, the generation you see from dad and mom to the kids that are heavily engaged in, in ministry. There is just so much fertile ground and you can see that evidenced by the generations in, of, of kids that have grown up within the church and are now fully engaged in the church. And we can see that in our own kids. You know, you have Josiah being, you know, active in the choir and singing. He's actually a good writer. And, and also Caleb, you know, uh, being gravitated to play the drums, to see him evolve from, from somebody who could barely play the drums and now loving to, you know, looking forward to play in, in the youth choir. It's amazing to see Noah just evolve from just trying to teach himself, you know, play the keyboard to now 
playing on a regular basis with the youth choir, uh, it's just a blessing. Our previous church, both Domingo and I worked in the children's ministry, so we were very familiar with kind of children's ministry work. But when we came to Cross Culture, I was pretty struck. I think we both were pretty struck by the depth of diving in, if you will, into the word that happened in the children's ministry. I mean, it was it was an impressive thing, and I knew that you know that was the kind of place that we wanted for our kids. I mean, I joined um, when I, when we joined the church. One of the first ministry that I decided to join was uh, the children's ministry, and I started teaching you know fifth and sixth graders, um, and just seeing just the, as Najib was saying, the depth and the breadth of kids who just knew the Word of God. That's what we've experienced across culture. It's, it's being able to see the parents, being able to see their fruits, their seeds, uh, and, and be marvel at what's going on in them personally, um, you know, in, in their relationship with Christ, and, and then challenge our family, challenge our boys to, to, to follow in, in like manner. Our life has effectively revolved around the church. And, but we love it. I mean, I think um, we love the relationships and the bonds that we've developed. I mean, I think the fact that our kids get exposed to like-minded youth, uh, I think it's a really good thing. Um, and it, it helps in their own personal development with the Lord. The cross-culture church community is one of a kind. Many of our closest friends now are our cross-culture family. Um, and our kids' closest friends are cross-culture family. So it really is more than a church. I mean, it really is friendships and family, if you will. Um, so it's, it's been the world. It's been the world to me. Happy 37th anniversary, Cross Culture Church. Woo!